just about three weeks or maybe four weeks ago in the journal Nature was a very, very important article that uh, yeah. ca has come out of the uh, genome roadmap being created at the National Cancer Institute. Do you, if both you and Kim ought to comment on where we're going to go with that and why that's such an important project. Sure, I'll start really quickly and I'd love to hear Kim's perspective. If you were talking about the same article, we're talking about the one that looked very carefully at breast cancer tumors and discovered that in fact a lot of them behave more like ovarian cancer. Right. And that's really, are we talking about the same article there? Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's where they took the tumors from over 800 patients and you're, you're absolutely right, Elizabeth. I think and it was in nature, I think about four weeks or so yep, ago. Yep. I think you're yep. exactly right. And the yep. important thing about that is that we treat breast and ovarian cancer very, very differently. <laughs> At the very beginning of our broadcast tonight, you mentioned the Oncotype DX test that we use on breast cancer tumors and that helps us understand the genetic makeup of the tumor and we can tailor therapy, we can give different right. kinds of treatment to women depending on the results of that test. And now that we know more that some of these tumors actually behave more like ovarian cancer while some behave more like a traditional understanding of breast cancer, we can tailor the treatment even further and be more likely to result in a good cure for, that, for those women. And as we go on to develop new therapies, that will give us more ways to attack the different kinds of tumors. Yeah, yeah. what well, we're hoping to come out of that, and I don't want to get too far off the subject here because we got to really see your slides, Elizabeth. <laughs> I've, I've seen them and they're fantastic. But um, Kim Banks, from your perspective, that uh, article in Nature here about four weeks or so ago, uh, I had the privilege of being on Lisa's uh, morning scramble show a couple of weeks ago in Phoenix and talked about it a little bit. Kim, I, it just seems to me in, in your field, there's some great excitement coming down and I think that article talked about potentially as many as 30,000 mutations that have been seen so far. It's incredibly exciting where we're going with genetics and also now we're using this term genomics. So this idea that not only can we understand a specific gene or two genes, but of these 30, 40,000 that we could really understand the whole kind of panel of how they interact and it's it's where we're going with for personalized medicine to understand yeah. um, what patients are going to be at risk for moving forward, what types of drugs are going to respond to as well as then if, if some type of disease develops in this instance cancer, what that cancer genetically looks like to know how to target it with specific treatments that just attack that tumor and the characteristics of that tumor. Now we're, we're, we've gotten much better at treating breast cancer, as you know, Dr. Right. Harness, right. but we have kind of our standard sets. And as we understand the genetic makeup of the different types of breast cancers, we can become even more targeted and effective with treatment. The other really exciting article that just came out within the past week is about the new studies that show that in fact, areas of the, the DNA in each of our G or chromosomes that we used to call dark matter because we didn't think they were doing anything are actually really, really important because they're giving messages to other genes about when to turn on and off. Mm -hmm. And those will be great new targets for treatment over time. Right. And so it's not specific just to breast cancer treatment, but this is that's a right. huge area of genetics that's just opened up wide for us. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.